going to be explaining to you guys how a uh, throttle position sensor works. First of all, let me let me explain to you what it what it is. A throttle position sensor is nothing more than a it's a potentiometer that you send a power and a ground to and then based upon where the throttle throttle body valve is, the butterfly valve inside there, it's attached to the to the uh, throttle position sensor and as that moves up and down the wiper changes resistance and it changes the voltage drop and sends that signal a signal voltage to the computer and that tells the computer precisely where the uh, throttle body valve, uh, butterfly valve inside there is. You know, simple as that. So, basically, it's like this. You have a, a coil, it's like a resistor, and at the top part here, you'll have five volts here. And you'll have your negative here. And you know, the inside here, there'll be a, uh, a wiper. And this is your signal wire. So you have five volts, you have a signal wire, and you have a ground. So when you have power here, this uh, wiper moves up and down based upon where where the, the throttle valve is and this little uh, wiper is basically attached uh, via a cable going down to the gas pedal so when you step on the gas pedal there, there are springs in here and there are springs on the linkage that when you're at idle comes down here this would be idle and as you step on the gas and speed up it, go, it starts working its way up that would be wide open throttle idle wide open throttle okay now the way this works like I said five volts comes out usually from your like ECM or PCM but you get five volts and you get a negative and this uh, makes you know five volts, and depending upon where the wiper is, it'll uh, you know voltage will drop based upon where this is located. It's pretty simple, really. Um, so, like I said, when you're at idle, you'll it should this signal will read pretty much zero. And when you're at full volt, full wide open throttle, it'll read close, you know, five volts. That's some of the that's some of the older types. Um, some of the newer types actually have a resistor. Some of the newer types actually have a, uh, like I'll carry this out, make this go all the way back, pretend like it's going into a computer. Here's your computer. Now this will go to, to ground. This will come in. Usually there's a little resistor here, then it goes to ground, and there will be a voltmeter here, and right here there will be a resistor, and this will be your 5 volt reference, or 5 volt voltage, and in a minute when I do a live demonstration you're going to see why you have these resistors and what they do 
Um, so when you have these resistors, this causes a voltage drop, and it makes your, you know, makes it like this. You'll have a, uh, you know, on the scale, you'll have five volts, and then this will be about 4.5 volts. And all the way down to about, about, I don't know, maybe about 0 0.25. And then from here, you got 0 volts. And this will be your normal range, normal operation. And anytime this signal reads 5 volts or 0 volts, it knows to set a code, set a trouble code. So this parameter becomes normal operating, normal. And if this signal here sees here and up, it sets a code and if it sees this voltage from here to here it sets a code. The reason why it does this is because when you have an open circuit you there's no voltage drop across here so you will actually read 5 volts if, if your negative opens. Like if you got a break in a wire here well hey this, this resistor here is irrelevant. It comes out and it'll send a send a signal here and uh, it'll read 5 volts. It'll say hey oh I must have an open. If I'm reading 5 volts here that means that the negatives open. If I'm reading uh, uh, 0 volts here that means my positive is open and I'm reading 0 volts. Normally, like this range on the wiper, they don't let it go down any further than that. Because they because they, they have like a stop here, which means that while, while current's flowing, which it should be flowing, this thing never gets lower than here. That, that's how it maintains that, that 0.25 or 0.4 or whatever. They vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but um, that way it maintains a, a constant voltage drop. And when something opens, like well, if your signal wire opens, once again this will read zero volts here, and this will make sense in a minute when I when I set up my demonstration. I'm actually going to going to uh, wire up a potentiometer and uh, set it up on a little Arduino and I'm going to put some code in and I'm going to make it monitor my voltage on my potentiometer and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll actually show you how a computer sees it and how it works. Let me, let me set that up real quick. This will all make a whole lot more sense in a minute. So let me get, let me get that set up real quick and I'll come back and show you. Okay, let me show you what I got here. I have a potentiometer that I'm using to uh, represent a, uh, a throttle position sensor, which this is basically nothing more than what it is. I have my, my red is my 5 volts coming in, my black is my ground, and I'm making my green a signal wire. As you can see, I got it wired up to a computer here, a little computer module. And I program this thing so that it'll monitor this signal wire here, this analog signal coming in. And I'm making it, um, uh, making it read print to here. Let me see if I can get 
as you can, I don't know if you, how well we can see this, but let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, that's reading uh, zero volts because um, my potentiometer is turned all the way clockwise. I'm sorry, counterclockwise. I'm going to turn it clockwise now. And you can see the voltage steadily going up. Okay, going all the way up to 5 volts. That's you know going back down counterclockwise. 0 volts. And 5 volts. Okay. This is kind of like how some of the older systems were where they wouldn't set codes and whatnot because this if you notice this is going all the way to 5 volts. And this is going all the way to zero volts. It's because on the zero volts, there's no built-in stop here. I mean, if I, I just have to stop about there. Normal, normally, normally, uh, there, like on a throttle position sensor, there'd be like something blocking that. Uh, it, it would, it would rest at about right there because that, that's measuring a uh, current flow and a drop. Going the other way, I got five volts. Now, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, change some parameters here to show you what happens when when I uh, the new the newer throttle position sensors inside the computer they'll have about a about a thousand ohm resistor to cause cause this to only go up to about 4.5 volts. So let me get a resistor. Okay. Well, I'm, I threw a thousand ohm resistor in here. I normally, if this was a real module, you wouldn't be. This would be just a box, and there'd be connections. You wouldn't see any of this. But uh, let me show you what that resistor does. Okay, now I'm all the way clockwise now, and as high as I can go now is 4.5 volts. It's only reading 4.5. That's why they have that resistor in there. So now, um, if uh, if something happens to my circuit, I can monitor it. Let me show you what I mean here. Like I said, it's uh. See how that's going 4.5 and this this is wide open. This would be a uh, you know wide open throttle. Because I, I mean put on the gas pedal and it cranks it. Uh, that's all the way. That would represent, you know, 4.5 would be wide open throttle. Now look what happens. Like the reason why they like I was talking about this, you know, this being a, a 4.5, a normal, ever since they put that resistor in there, um, 4.5, and they put the stop on the bottom so it can't go any lower, 0.25 to 4.5 is your normal range. But let's say this circuit um, has a, as an open circuit or you know, bad wiring or whatever causes a problem. Like for instance, I'm going to lose my ground. If I lose my ground, which, okay, I got an open circuit in my ground, this signal wire will know it because look, see how that just jumped up to five? Jumped up to five volts. That's because there's no current flow. That resistor doesn't matter. So now it's reading the 5 volts on the signal wire. 5 volts come through the pot, you know. So the, the 5 volts here comes through here and, the, and the, it's reading that. And that, that's how it knows there's a problem. Okay, let me hook this back up. And it'll go back to 4.5. It's now current flowing. And you can see about 4.5. See? Okay. 
Now what happens when I, what happens if uh, my positive opens up? If I lose this positive, I got an open circuit in my positive. Well, you can see that drop to zero. That lets you know there's an open circuit. That's why they reserve this little bit here for, for faults. This is a fault. This is a fault. I hope that makes sense. They make this a normal range so they can tell if a circuit opens. That computer will know it. Okay. Let me hook this back up. And I'll show you what happens if I lose my signal wire. Probably won't work on this because it's not there's it's not set up in here, but I'm guessing if I lose my signal wire, it's gonna act like an open and that voltage is gonna just go crazy all over the place and start and start floating and bouncing. But normally they'll have a uh, you know a uh, like a pull down resistor so if you get an open or whatever it'll read steady zero but this one probably won't because it'll probably float I could build one and make it do it but I don't want to this will work open okay see that's an open in my signal wire and just like I said it's, it's jumping all over the place it's becoming erratic Voltage is uh, changing.